Small knowledge learning, what is a bearing? As we all know that in mechanical equipment, the shaft needs to be supported to work. We name and standardize the part that supports the shaft as a bearing. Bearings are divided into rolling bearings and sliding bearings. Among them, rolling bearings are widely used in various machinery because of their advantages, such as small frictional resistance, high efficiency, and easy startup. In today's video, we will learn about nine typical rolling bearing structures and their characteristics. Look, this is a set of deep groove ball bearings. It consists of outer ring, ball, cage and inner ring, mainly used to withstand radial loads. Look, this is a set of angular contact ball bearings. It consists of outer ring, ball, cage and inner ring. It can withstand radial load and unidirectional axial load at the same time. Look, this is a set of cylindrical roller bearings. It consists of outer ring, cage and inner ring. Cylindrical rollers, it is mainly used to withstand radial load, and its bearing capacity is stronger than that of deep groove ball bearings. Look, this is a set of tapered roller bearings. It consists of outer ring, tapered rollers, cage and inner ring. It can withstand radial load and axial load at the same time. Among them, it mainly withstands radial load. This is a set of self-aligning ball bearings. It consists of outer ring, ball, cage and inner ring. It is mainly used to withstand radial load and can also bear small axial load. A certain angle of inclination between the axis of the inner ring and the axis of the outer ring is allowed. Look, this is a set of spherical roller bearings. It consists of outer ring, spherical roller, cage and inner ring. It is mainly used to withstand radial load and can also bear small axial load. A certain inclination angle is allowed between the axis of the inner ring and the axis of the outer ring. Its carrying capacity is stronger than self-aligning ball bearings. Look, this is a set of thrust ball bearings. It consists of seat ring, ball, cage and shaft ring. It is used to bear pure axial load but cannot bear radial load. And the limit speed is slow. Look, this is a set of thrust cylindrical roller bearings. It consists of seat ring, cylindrical roller, cage and shaft ring. It is used to bear pure axial load and cannot bear radial load. Its load carrying capacity is stronger than that of thrust ball bearings. Look, this is a set of needle bearings. It consists of outer ring, needle roller, cage and inner ring. For carrying radial loads with the same inner diameter, the outer diameter is smaller than other types of bearings. It has a compact structure and strong carrying capacity. These are nine typical rolling bearing structures and their characteristics. Hi friends there, do you know other types of rolling bearings? Welcome to leave a message to share. Your bearing expert.
TB bearing provision. Thanks for your watching.